for many of us, this vegetable, as a child, sent us running in the opposite direction. Today, we're going to change that in this episode of The Literary Foodie. Okay, everybody. So today we're conquering the next chapter of the Brassica family. Today we're doing Brussels sprouts, one of my new favorite vegetables. Um, I know for a lot of us back in the day, our moms or grandmothers or whoever like to boil them until they were gray and mushy and then plop them on our plates. Uh, it's no wonder we didn't like Brussels sprouts as a kid. Um, but we have recently discovered the wonderful world of roasting our Brussels sprouts. And that's what we're going to do with our Brussels sprouts today. And I have a lovely umami vinaigrette that's going to go with that. Basically, it's red wine vinegar, garlic, shallot, olive oil, canola oil, red wine vinegar, and anchovies. Yeah, Tia really liked the smell of those. I'm surprised she's not sniffing around the kitchen somewhere. But I went ahead and I made the vinaigrette. Uh, as you can see, it's kind of gray and uh, soupy in consistency. Kind of reminds me of the tahini dressing. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and give it a taste because I always do that with my sauces. Um, I try them separately before I put them with um, my, my food item. So here we go. Like it smells really nice, you guys. Um, garlic in there, um, you definitely get that punch from the vinegar and the Parmesan cheese. Mmm. Oh, wow. Mmm. Wow. That is super tart and tangy and just wow I tell you what I can't wait to try this on the roasted Brussels sprouts oh boy Brussels sprouts are done they are roasted and smelling fantastic yum 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 it is now time to try okay everybody moment of truth here we have the dreaded Brussels sprout. Uh, I have to say though, guys, when I first tried that dressing, holy cow, what a flavor. I could definitely put that on like just a regular old salad. It kind of tasted like a really elevated, like elegant Caesar salad, if you will, because it had that, that anchovy and whatnot in it. But here we are, guys. Mmm. Finished Brussels sprout, here we go. Hmm. Like, it kind of tastes just like an ordinary Brussels sprout with like a little bit of flavor. I feel like you might need to like roast the Brussels sprouts first and then kind of toss them in with the stuff. Mmm. It's really good though. Um, really hot though. Ha! Ha! <laughs> let me get the vinaigrette and let me dip it in that and see how. Okay, so I'm gonna take the Brussels sprouts and um, just kind of lightly dip it in the vinaigrette. There we go. Mmm. Oh my god. Wow. Okay, what a difference. Um. Yeah. Big difference in flavor. Um. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Really, really good, you guys. I, I have to say, I was kind of skeptical at first. Um. Because I know for a lot of us, anchovies are kind of like that. Ooh, the anchovies are kind of gross and fishy and yucky and whatnot. Um, but when you puree them and make a vinaigrette with them, you kind of don't notice them as much. But they do have that salty pungency about them um, that I quite like in this vinaigrette. Um, like, 
when I coated the Brussels sprouts and roasted them, the vinaigrette was very subtle. So depending on how much of a flavor kick you want, I guess depends, you know, if you want to roast them with the dressing or if you want to have it just like a, a sauce that you pour over the roasted Brussels sprouts. Um, I have to say, you guys, I am very, very impressed both with vinaigrette and how it came out with the Brussels sprouts themselves. I mean, I love roasted Brussels sprouts. Um, so once again, that darn computer did it again. <laughs> Brussels sprouts and this umami vinaigrette work well. Stay tuned next week when we cover another member of the Brasca family. We are doing a rapa, which basically means turnips. I've never worked with turnips. So I'm kind of nervous and kind of excited. Um, <laughs> that's it from me, you guys. Make sure you like and subscribe, ding that bell, do what you got to do, and I will see you next week. See you then.